Yo B, they ready. Let's go. Feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling my, good girls looking back at it and a good girl in my tax bracket got a black car and less sex habit. These Chanel bags is a bad habit. I, I do balls to our Mavericks, I made back black men. Never look, but I'm back at it, and I'm feeling myself back at it. Feeling myself back off, cause I'm feeling myself back off. And he's thinking about me when he wags off, wags off. And that national anthem had so off, then I heard that feel like a bad sport. So the number two was the max sauce, or when the runs for what my bad sauce. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Carry on. Pretty on peak. Pretty on peak. Pretty, pretty gang. Always keep them niggas on beat. I am not in two Texas. Be them for his breakfast. Every time I whip it, I be talking so reckless. Damn, Nikki is tight. I, I say, yeah, Nikki, you right. He said, damn, baby, you so little, but you be really taking that pipe. I say, yes, definitely I do. Give me brain like NYU. I said, teach me, nigga, teach me. All this learning here is right. Keep thinking that one. I reached my soft girl era. I'm reaching my soft girl era. Raw bundles. Yes. Morgan, oil, Morgan, oil for you, baby. Wow, sexy. Let's bring the traditional sewings so back in so we can look like the natural, beautiful baddies that we are. I've just got to my hair and it looks so good. Huh? Let me get my thread and put it back. Morgan. Anyways, I am about to do my mother's lashes. I ended up ordering these Pro 11 lash kit. They have clusters and spikes and bottom lashes. I'm definitely not doing the bottom lashes, but let me see. Can you see? There we go. Here you go. No, I don't. I'm gonna do my lash and do my sh right. You act like I'm a lash tech. I'm gonna do the best that I can do. Just like I, I do some hair. to myself. I do, I, like doing some hair. I do the best that I can do. I don't need no best. I need the shit done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because it's funny. It's not. I just want to sit here and just go to sleep. Well, you got to hold your eyes open. Okay. <laughs> Listen, take, take my shit up. Come on. Hey. Come on. Under my eye, I think I got it. So it don't get on my bottom lash. Is it on my bottom? Is it covering my bottom lash? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, mom, but no, it's, it's not. It's not real. It's eyelash glue. It's it not doesn't glue. fucking matter. Just do what the hell I tell you to do. And then, mm. you take another piece. So I'm gonna make sure this shit is down. And you take another piece and put it on my eyelid. And put my eyelid. Is it separate? <laughs> Why did I do nothing? Well, fix it right. <laughs> I know so that's what the damn mess is. Yeah, just look it up. Up and then pull it up. Put it over here and then pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. And that's how my album was when she did it. Maybe this shit was a little bit too much. This shit. I know you don't need that. She still put something down there. Let me 
need my nerves back. You gonna check your eyeballs, mama? Put a pack of my bags and leave this world behind. Come on, y'all, and save it all for you. Oh, my dear. Cool. I made it back home, guys. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new evening. It's actually nighttime. I'm exhausted. Your Kendra is tired. Y'all, I really had to, that was another reason why I decided to do traditional soul band route, was because one, I didn't wanna have to worry about my hair. I want my hair to always be done so that way I can just wake up, you know what I'm saying, do my little thing, get to record, and gotta worry about my hair. I gotta worry about my hair, because my hair is always done. When I put my wigs on, I like to have my wigs on, but I really need to stop doing that because I really can't afford to do that. So whenever I do decide to wear a wig, I just need to do a little guys to be or do a little even, not even that even, cause that even is like real glue. That even is like real glue. So I need to do like a little gossip and take that baby off at the end of the day and not leaving it on for a damn near a week or two. Cause look at my skin, we gotta fix that. So yeah, we're on a mission this month to correct this cause that's ridiculous. We is getting too old to be so careless with our bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta take care of our temples. We are only given one body to take care of it. Anyways, I didn't have time to go to the grocery store, so I didn't go to the grocery store today. I went ahead and I ordered me some food from Kebab Land. This gonna be my last night ordering out, y'all. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna stop ordering out because I need to get back in the kitchen. Y'all enjoy um, kitchen content. I enjoy cooking. I just haven't been like, my priorities has kind of been like jack, but I'm waiting for that to come. That should be here in literally any minute, and Brandon should be headed home right now. We're gonna have like a cute little virtual date night because we watch BMF together. We missed last week because of me, <laughs> and I've been like just like in my own little world for the past week. So now that I'm back home, I have like some downtime and. Um, so thankful for him being patient because he could have definitely went on ahead and watched that without me. But he was like, no, I'm away for you. And I'm like, oh, she was. And I gave him hell today because when I was ready to watch it today, as soon as I got in the house, I was like, oh, you ready to watch it? He's like, no, I'm headed to my brother's um, shop. And I'm like, Ugh. he's like, don't you start. And I'm like, eh, whatever. But yeah, so like he should be home right now. Once I go downstairs to get my food, um, which sucks because I live in a high rise and they don't let the delivery people come upstairs. I mean, I get it, trust me, I get it. But dang, I'm sitting in the house chilling. I could have on no damn clothes and just, but anyway, so yeah, I have to go downstairs and get my food when I come up upstairs. Hopefully it's home and I'm gonna turn on BMF. Let me see where my food at because your girl is hungry. Uh, why he keep pushing the time back? Uh, it said it was supposed to be here. I'm gonna have to call the, these people because, like, what is happening? Hello? Hi, I was mm -hmm. just wondering if everything was okay. Okay, hold on. I'm with uh, DoorDash. I'm having problems with my app right now. Oh, okay. And I'm on the other line. Hold on a moment. I can, uh,. I've got DoorDash on the other line. Would you like to uh, for me to merge the call so you'll know what's up, what's going on? Oh, okay, that would be great. Thank you. First and foremost.
foremost, I told you to call me when you got home. Okay, well, I was in there talking to my people, so I, when I was ready, I just texted you and asked you where you were. No, you saw some is you about ready? That's what you said. That won't simple. You said it in a way. Is you about ready? As if you waiting on me. You know why? Actually, is you about ready? The way I'm, I said it just now. Like, is you about ready? Well, it's about who's receiving it. So I'm telling you how it was received. Okay, we'll tell you not to receive it like that because that's how I sent the message. You All can't tell me, me what to, differently. You can't tell me what to do, but you can say, "Oh, I'm sorry you felt that way." That's not, that wasn't my intentions. I meant X, Y, and Z. What I was telling you, that's what I did with Zayn like that. I was just telling you, are you about ready? My Uber driver it took forever to get here because he was lost and he don't know how to work with GPS. He had to call DoorDash and everything. And then when he got here, it said that he was here and he was still roaming around like he was lost. So I went all the way downstairs to go get my food without my phone for him not to even be downstairs. Came all the way back upstairs to message him saying, is everything okay? He calls me while I'm in the elevator like, yeah, I'm pulling up right now in front of the lobby. Where the fuck were you? Mm -hmm. I don't want to tip him. Pulled, or maybe he pulled around to the back of the other building or something. Should I rate him or I should just leave it alone? Leave it alone. Brandon be saving people, I swear. He, I mean, shit, because at the end of the day, I mean, stuff happens. You know, you can't. He didn't do it intentionally. I can see if he parked down the street with your food and said, fuck you type shit. I'm going to go get gas. And I'm going to, and you know, I parked it. Let me go talk on the phone for a while. Or, you know, I got a little hungry, so I went to McDonald's first while I still got your food. You know what I mean? He didn't do nothing intentionally. It was a mishap. You have the luxury to have a microwave, or oven, and huh? you warm your food up if it's a little cold, or it's not as hot as you like, or whatever the case is, you know, so, you know, you didn't do nothing wrong. You don't like me. What are you talking about? You don't like me. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what the hell you're saying, because you're dragging this around a little long, too long, you got a microwave heated up. No, you're supposed to be like, baby, your food cold? Man, what you want me to do about it? You want me to come down there? You want me to find him? What's his license to plate? have a microwave or an oven to if something, while the food is a little bit colder than you like, you have the luxury to warm it up. I didn't say you have one. Sometimes you just got to read the room. Next time, just read the room. Next time, just read the room. Sometimes you just got to read the room. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm not. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, we have those options, and that's great. Is you about ready? Because you're still talking about it, and I'm over it. Yeah, this is the, the new, new ghost thing starts June 7th. I'm so hungry, I don't even care. It's cold. So,
did it. They, did it. they, they let you go to prom. My probation officer let me go for the seven years. Yeah. So we do what we do the Airbnb in the car ready right now. Uh, ready? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, let's, let's, hey, let's get ready, man. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, do it. Now, now. Oh, we coming right now. Yeah, y'all boy, load up. Let's go, baby girl. You ain't gonna say bye to me. Daddy, chill. Acting all different right chill. now. Chill. You always different. doing too much. We, we good. Make sure you get back. Okay. Ten o'clock on the dot. Ten o'clock on the dot. Not a second. Daddy, you doing too much. Chill. Doing too much. Oh, God. Oh. I ain't coming home tonight. Say what? We got you, pop. We ain't coming home tonight. I wish the car would have been outside. I, was like, I, was like, I got you, pop. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I got you, pop. <laughs> She did amazing. So that's my first time doing For a one out of ten, now. she was a, like a 9.3. Hey! What? Heaven was a mile away. Would I pack up my bags and leave this world behind? If heaven was a mile away. Or save it all for you. If heaven was a mile away. If heaven was a mile away. Heaven was a mile away, and you can ride by the gates. Would you try to run inside when it opens? Would you try to die today? Would you pray louder? Finally believe in his power. Even if you could see, but you could feel, would you still doubt him? How would you start acting? Would you try to put the keys down? Thinking every drug sale that you make in the streets, he can see now. Would a fiend even want to get high when he stop smoking? If he knew on his own two feet, he could just stroll in to get away and escape from the craziness. And I bet you there's a heaven for an atheist. It's hard taking this racist planet where they take a younger brother in a handcuff. Even if he innocent, he can get on a car, put your mother hands up, thinking I'ma lose it. My mom's in chemo three times a week. Yo, keep trying, but people is hard and guard your young soldiers. Not sober, but need you. This world's my home, but world I would leave you. If heaven was a mile away. I honestly have a really hard time getting up in the morning most mornings some mornings I'm a little lucky and then other mornings I'm not and today was one of those days where I had a really hard time getting up in the morning I had my alarm set for uh, six o'clock this morning and I feel like I went to bed pretty early but I did not wake up until about 10 30 11 o'clock and that was that is a little disappointing I felt like I was just stuck in the dream. I think I woke up at like seven and then I went back to sleep, woke up again at like 9.30, went back to sleep, woke up again at like 10.30. So yeah, I just be having a hard time getting up in the mornings, but I still have to push through today. Cause last night I spent some time on Canva and I created a list of things that I wanted to get done today. I have to break things down to a T. Like, I have to, like, my first bullet point says, wake up, get dressed. I didn't even get dressed, but I woke up. That's a start. And then do your skincare routine. I said I need to stretch. I did stretch my face, but now I need to go in and stretch my body. Um, I like to use my Freebeats bike right here. This is my Freebeats bike. Mm. And they have great stretching classes up there, which is really, really, really good. They also do like cycling classes and stuff like that. But this morning, I really just want to focus on stretching to kind of just like wake me up. And I want to go get my coffee. Coffee helps me in the morning, it helps me get in just into my groove. As I get my coffee or as my coffee makes, I have to send a text message to my client for tomorrow, basically giving her her information for like where she needs to go, what time she needs to come, prepping wise, whatever, because she just scheduled her appointment last night. So I need to send her a nice text message um, so that way we're on the same page for her appointment tomorrow. Okay, let me go through my list. I'm gonna have to just move things around, but we're gonna get it all done. So wake up, get dressed, skincare routine, stretch, coffee send a text message to your client edit your hair video clean up run to trader joe's come home make lunch um drink my energy shots um edit my vlog content for a little bit and then um connect with my client who's supposed to come and drop off a wig today for her appointment on friday and then go to the gym come back home shower do my skincare routine, finish the wigs, make dinner, and then edit today's vlog at the end of the day and get ready for bed. So that was my entire day. 
that was for me waking up at six o'clock in the morning um and now that six hours are literally gone and i got only two things on the list completed we're gonna have to finish so i'm going to not do the entire session on free beats because typically the stretching classes are 15 minutes i'm just literally going to take about two or three minutes to stretch and then I'm gonna go downstairs and make my coffee, send my text message, and then edit my hair video. Uh, a day in the life with a nausea, an entrepreneur, an influencer who struggles with sticking to a routine, okay? But we're working on it. Hey Google, play ocean sounds, please. <laughs> sort of stretching movement in your morning routine afternoon routine whenever you wake up my bones or my joints or whatever was cracking i was so tight from my sleep it's like my restless nights even though i get so much sleep i'm like sleeping like i'm for hours like i went to bed at like one o'clock and then i didn't really get out of bed until 10 30 11 that's it's a lot of hours, but I still felt like I was tossing and turning all night. So like my sleep was kind of stressful. So I wake up tight. Like I have this knot, like I have this knot right here on the back of my neck that I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was doing my skincare routine and I was like taking the tool, I can't even think of what it's called. And I was just like going down my neck trying to like relieve some stress um and that does as well help like it, it feels so good so like yeah i just be so tight and it can do be stressed so I like to alleviate to relieve some stress i do like to stretch in the morning or when i wake up so yeah i'm about to go downstairs and get my coffee and come back up and get some work done this is what I meant by cleaning. I have all this laundry on the bed that has been piling up since before I left for Virginia. So, yeah, but anyways, I need to change and put on some clothes because I'm not going to go downstairs with my PJs on. Okay, so I thought my client canceled her appointment. I'm like, no, why would you cancel your appointment? So I checked my email and re she rescheduled for Friday. I'm like, oh, it's currently five o'clock and I wanted to be done by three. I just got finished editing and uh, not only now, uh, well, I'm uploading the video right now unlisted, but I also have to create an invoice and fill out my W-9 and I wanna hurry up and just like email all of that to them now. So I'm gonna skip the grocery store today because my, like I said earlier, my client for tomorrow, she's rescheduled for Friday. So tomorrow I have an open day. So tomorrow I'm gonna dedicate to getting this place in order, you know, cleaning and grocery shopping. So that way when Brandon gets here tomorrow evening, you know, he can come to a tidy, place and some dinner ready look at me being a good girlfriend you know what i'm saying um <laughs> but yeah um so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and finish this knock this out so that way i don't have to revisit this at all and then hopefully i don't have to do any edits to the video um i feel like i do pretty good with when, in regards to like creating my content i never really get pushed back too much so hopefully this doesn't they don't give me no pushback and then after this because I have not eaten today. It's 5 o'clock and I still have not eaten anything um, but my coffee. And I had some water. This little itty bitty bottle of water. I don't know. Okay. As you can 
tell you, Kendra is thirsty. I still need to get all of her dog food. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and door dash her dog food here. I know, baby. She's like, I don't wanna eat just those pebbles. I don't wanna eat just those pebbles. My baby is so, 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 so spoiled. I love her down. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. Let me look at my list again to see what all we have to do today, Kendrick. So I did everything this morning. What am I doing? My invoice, invoice and taxes, invoice and W9 form. Actually, I could be getting ready because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Planta. I'm gonna get dinner because I don't have any food in here. I'm gonna go to Planta, so I'm actually going to get ready after I. Yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and do my makeup and get dressed while I wait for my client to come. And then as soon as she comes, I'm gonna head over to Planta. And then I'm gonna edit at Planta. I'm gonna do like a cute little solo day at Planta and edit my vlog there. And your kindred literally just did her hair and makeup. I am about to go to Planta. I feel like I told you guys that earlier. And my client, she dropped off her wig. Planta is having a maki roll special today. So the Kendra's about to get her some maki rolls. And then I'm also going to be editing while I'm there. So I'm taking my laptop. My car is currently one minute away. I literally just called it and it's one minute away, which is so crazy. I'm gonna close my library i need to take my i need to take my adapter my charger to my phone close my laptop i'm bring an extra an extra battery for my camera i don't know which one was charged i'm gonna go with this one and then my laptop and uh, I'm taking this bomb AF to mm. Blake bag. This bag is so bomb and it holds literally everything. I've worked with Teddy Blake a few times. I'm gonna leave the information linked down below as well. Damn, why did my driver say screw me? So I have another driver now that's four minutes away. Nala's food downstairs, but I don't have time to go downstairs and then come back upstairs. Then I'm also taking my tripod because your Kendra is going to take some photos while she's there. This is my outfit for today. I have on this crop top that is from Zara. I just washed it, but I could not get this red stain out. I'm just going to have to edit it in my photo. Um, and then these pants, I think these pants might have been either from Zara or H&M, I can't remember. But these were pants and I cut them into like knickerbockers. <laughs> and then I'm wearing these Teddy Blake heels with the gold little dazzle. I have on this um, MVMT watch, black and gold. These gold earrings from Ana Luisa. And this little cute ring that I got from TJ Maxx. And yeah, this is my outfit for today. I would wear a bag, but there's no need to wear a purse. Since I'm wearing this big old bag from Teddy Blake that could literally hold everything. Don't judge the mess in the background, so I'm gonna clean up when I get back. But yeah, this is my outfit for today. Let me make sure. Oh, I'm trying to hide. I'm having a productive day. We're having a productive day. We're gonna go shoot some content. We're gonna go eat. We're gonna edit, you know? So. Oh, we finished recording a video. I mean, we finished editing our video. We have it submitted. We have our W9 submitted. We have our invoice submitted. When we come back, we're gonna finish up the wigs. And then we're gonna start cleaning and prep for tomorrow. So we're having a productive day. This is a productive Monday. This is what a Monday looks like for your kitchen. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I got my phone. Lip gloss. Mm. I want to go spray myself. Right now, I'm wearing, I'm wearing this um, flower bomb um, perfume. 
just like in this area. And then on my body, I'm wearing the Chanel number no. nine. And every time I go hug somebody, they're like, oh my God, you smell so good. I'm like, I know. Thank you. If y'all hear, y'all hear the ocean sounds from earlier in the background, yeah, they're still playing. It keeps me calm, it keeps me cool. You know, it keeps me level-headed. Either that or nature sounds, I eat bird, bird chirps. I got that from my Uncle Celine that, that um, passed away two years ago. And my car is here, so I'm about to head downstairs and I'll see you guys at Crater. <laughs> It looks like you're right here with a bucket block. You at a little blue clint? Yeah. That's where you're going? No, I'm going to Planta. It's just the address just wouldn't pop up. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I think I know where you are. Okay. Yeah. I sound like I speak French, but I don't. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> I just heard that pronounced one time and I said, oh, in Lake Colonial. Yeah, Lake Colonial. Those two I know right in there, so. Really high-end spots, really high-end. Mm -hmm. I took my wife to that little beauty one time. How was it? Was it? it was pretty good. Yeah. It was really nice, actually. She liked it. That's good. She liked all that kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> I'll go because she wants to go get dressed up and go. Good husband. I'm required to get them. Good. That's just how I like it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's Quiet and peaceful and cooperative and operative. Oh, yeah. Manageable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I go around? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yep, that was crazy. That's Thank the one they wouldn't let Dominic Wilkins come in without a shirt. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm right to the left, Planta. Yeah. Thank uh, you so much. Heaven just a mile away. I'm talking heaven on earth. Ain't got nothing to do with money. Got nothing to do with nothing material. I'm talking about heaven in your own heart, in your own world, baby, in your own existence. To my moms, look at me, baby. I love you, girl. Your boy's shining. I'm God's son. Don't touch my hair. When it's the feeling. talking to my grandmother whenever me and my grandmother are on the phone we be talking we just talk 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 talk, 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 talk. so while i was talking to her hold on it's brandon look at me on the phone still talking hello hey hey my bad um yeah i'm back now do you mind uh doing 
one of the parking tank fun. Okay. Mommy and back. Anyways, um, yeah, so I was on the phone talking to my grandmother all day, and then while I was talking to her, well, um, this morning, when I was talking to her, I was like, curl my hair, make me some breakfast, ate my breakfast, and then right after I finished my breakfast, I swear I was just going to get myself together and head out the door, go to this um, wine bookstore here in Bucket Shops. I was going to go there and get some work done. Didn't get no work done because my homegirl ended up calling me. And we've been on the phone for, like, hours. We literally been on the phone for, like, six hours five to six hours just talking running around mouths oh my god so i didn't really get no work done today my good old coffee was like definitely getting me through the day so this is actually rise mushroom coffee I'm hello <laughs> what's up Which was what? Give me the uh, from the back door. I'm dirty as fuck. <laughs> I don't want to go through the front looking like this. Man. I don't want to through the front looking like this. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this shit too, but I called the first time. I'm like, damn, it's kind of busy. I don't even want to ask for you. But then, like, I got out of the car, I looked at myself, and got right back in, and I was like, yeah, I'm dirty as fuck, baby. I mean, I can change my shirt, but... I'll come down. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. See, I can't be productive. I can't be productive. I've been on the phone all day. Now I'm trying to, like, get into my zone, talk to my kindreds, and now I mean, want me to go downstairs because he don't want to go through the front because he don't want people to see him dirty. Cause he hard working, he been working hard. Zing! I just wanted to tell y'all about my rice coffee. This stuff is good. It's mushroom coffee. He can be a little sick. So this is my mushroom coffee, right? Rice coffee. Y'all heard about my rice coffee? Rice coffee, it ain't no joke. People, it this ain't no, people don't be just saying stuff, just be saying stuff. This stuff is really, 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 really good. And this stuff has gotten me through the day to day, okay? Run my mouth. I've had a lot of energy. I got a lot of energy today. I don't know. I think it's because it's coffee. It's mushroom coffee. Did I say that? <laughs> it's derived from six different types of mushrooms that's supposed to just help you focus and help your digestive system. It's also said to help with like stress relief and to just simply overall give you energy. So I've definitely been feeling that all day today. Even though I've just been on the phone with my mouth. But I got a lot of energy today. So, yeah, this coffee is really, really good. I'm not like a black coffee type of girl, so I definitely like to add creamer into my coffee. So I added a little bit of um, almond milk, hazelnut caramel creamer to my mushroom coffee. You don't have to use creamer. You can definitely use honey. I've seen people use cinnamon. So, yeah, I definitely highly suggest this mushroom coffee from Rise. I absolutely love it. I'm going to leave a direct link down below in the description box for you guys. I'm also going to leave a discount code. Y'all know us Kendra's, we like to save a little bit of coin. So I'm going to leave a discount code for you guys as well for you guys to use. Let the regular coffee go and get you some mushroom coffee from Rise. And if you are a matcha type of kindred, don't worry because Rise has mushroom matcha. If you are a oats girl, don't worry, they got you. Just go ahead and check them out. I'll leave the link, information link down below, like I said, and a discount code as well. But yeah, let me stop running my mouth because I've been running my mouth all day. And then we'll get my man, okay? Change of plans. I didn't go to Lucian Wine Bar and Bucket slash bookstore. Didn't go. Ended up staying home. Well, actually, I didn't end up staying home. We ended up going to the grocery store. Um, and I'm going to get some work done tonight. But instead of going to dun, 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 Trader Joe's, we went to dun, 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 Kroger's. So we got some 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 little little stuff from Kroger's. You know what I'm saying? Stuff to eat for now, later. Y'all know that flatbread that I be always talking about at Trader Joe's? That got me hooked on phonics. I had to put her on something, man. And put me on to this, uh, 
How you knew I was gonna say that? How you knew I wasn't gonna act like I found it? Because you gotta give me my credit. I'm not gonna allow you not to give me my credit when it came to this. Okay. I wasn't gonna let it slide. That's why. Anyways, um, he put. He just he put us on to this. I tried this the other day. Yesterday it was so good. Spinach and roasted mushroom brick oven crust fresh pizza. This is so good with a little bit of added uh, Parmesan cheese. And of course you gotta season it. Season your pizza. You can never just have it plain. You gotta season it. Do a little bit of onion, onion salt and garlic powder and, and, and smoked paprika and and red peppers, crushed red peppers, you know what I'm saying? Pepper, stuff like that. Just directed your pizza, no shit, directed your pizza to Daddy Green's. You gotta know. You can't not know. Say it again. Directed your pizza to Daddy Green's. Pizza. That was weird. A black man with a pizza shop. Now there isn't a hungry soul in this town doesn't know my slogan. Just direct to your pizza to Daddy Green's pizza. <laughs> Watch yourself, son. I mean, it's pizza, but what movie that come from? Um, um, it was directed by... Somebody I actually don't remember who it was directed by, but it is somebody but I'm home. But it's The Last Dragon, though. I don't think he did that. It's somebody in that realm, though, people. Yeah. It may have been him, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, y'all, I'm tired. Don't judge me. And then... Get them pics to swing. Got some baby spinach mix for salads. We're having salad tonight. We have a nice, fully loaded salad tonight. Then got some baby spinach. Then we got the organic on. They be some. They be fake. Do they really be organic? Um, yes and no. I said no. If you're actually gonna do that the right way, we need to start going and find a farmer's market out here, like a real farmer's market, and get stuff like that. So we gotta create a list of things that we want to stay clear of, things that we need to stay clear of, and things that we want to always maintain in the in the home, refrigerator, cabinets, or whatever the case may be. We're trying to switch it up because we're trying to live long and. I'm tired. Don't blame me. Did it break? No. It didn't break? No. It looked like it. Put it in the scene. We want to stay away from stuff like this. I had to get these. I, this is like one of my favorite candies. Dots. Dots and cherry. Dots and cherry. Twizzlers. Don't do that. Dots and cherry Twizzlers and milk duds and sugar babies and lemon head chewies. The fruit, the off flavor, rainbow kind. They're my favorite candy. Y'all, yeah, I'm so tired. You said Twizzlers too. I said cherry Twizzlers. Okay, Not strawberry it. Twizzlers. Yeah, yeah, cherry yeah, yeah. Twizzlers. I was making sure you said. And then got some granola. I know this is not like the best granola to get, but this granola is so good. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be our last sweep of like bullshit groceries. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be the last sweep of bullshit groceries. Yeah, this is yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. put this in my salad and I like to put this in my Greek yogurt too. Yeah, the last, yeah, the last, yeah. Had to re up with some dressing. So we got creamy balsamic dressing. That stuff is good. Got some um, sliced hot jalapeno peppers. Mm -mm. Loved it. Love it. Love it. Oh, y'all, this is so random, but the pineapple ginger beer. I saw this in there. I was like, yes, I gotta get this. There's only one left. Only one left. Got some um, cut up mangoes. Yeah, we need to go to a fresher's, fresh, freshers market. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Farmers market. Fr Farmer's market. Farmer. <laughs> the farmer's market. And then some brown ass pineapples. I don't know what made him get brown pineapples, but. Um, oh, that doesn't mean they're sweet as fuck. He almost threw up because he was like, oh my God, look at the ingredients of the pineapples. Why does pineapples have ingredients? It contains coconut. 
contains milk, soy, wheat, and added yeah, yeah, egg. Yeah, it says may contain, and that blew my mind. Like, why would you even smack them on the label and it's just I don't know, that's crazy. But it's our last time, like she said. Mozzarella skim cheese. This is our last time getting this bullshit. So we need this, because we got some brioche. Brioche. Brioche bread for some turkey burgers. Brioche. Last time getting BS, okay? So we got some frozen turkey burgers. Frozen turkey burgers. We do have ground turkey, though. We do have ground turkey, but, but I feel like we could just use that for the spaghetti. Or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna get a cooking book. I'm, I mean, cooking book. I'm gonna get a cookbook with recipes so we can try different stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make my own cooking book. Cooking book. I'm gonna make my own cookbook. I'm gonna make a cookbook yeah. so the Kendrick's can, so the Kendrick's could not do this basic it's gas be grocery book shopping. Specifically for y'all too. Spe specifically. So for the we're gonna work on recipes specifically for the candles. All healthy but fire shit. Uh huh. Different sections: high in protein, or low in calorie, or Not you vegan. <laughs> you look like you're struggling. It's like it's just the one. <laughs> got a line. Oranges. Any more oranges in there? Yeah, it's a couple man. Or whatever you want. Oatmeal cookies, these are my favorite. Well, I don't know. I've never tried this. Huh? I never tried huh? Kroger's. Huh? I've never tried Kroger's oatmeal cookies. Oh. What are you talking about? They're like sugar. Yeah, I bet. I'm trying to eat that shit and then eat it. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Add some tuna, but I would pour white tuna, white water. What's wrong with tuna? I mean, I could do fresh tuna. Okay, well, we'll do, I have the fresh tuna. I love tuna. Um, ginger beer. Mm-hmm. Some almond milk. Unsweetened almond milk. They have, um, they didn't have, um, Raisin Bran Crunch, so... I got the fruit and yogurt. This is my next to favorite cereal. Next to Raisin Bran Crunch, you know what I'm saying? Salmon, cause we're gonna have salmon and shrimp in our fully loaded salmon. Salmon and shrimp in our fully loaded salad tonight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Cookie Monster, goddamn. Some chips. That's for my clients though. Not for me. Put some chips and some agua. Oh, and some household stuff. This I am I have not used shower cream, shower hair removal cream in a very long time, so it's gonna be interesting. I got some antibacterial soap because we only have one bar left. Some wipes. They had a flushable one, so we're just gonna make do what we do. Some Listerine and. I saw this. I was like, well, I'm going to do me a mask. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then for the special guest of the hour, or the evening, or the week, yeah, got some bamboo. And my all-time favorite, cherries. Yeah. It's my medicine for the, for the evening to help relax my mind. Just one. Maybe two. But, yeah. Thank you for cleaning that coffee up for me. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm about to get to cooking. I'm gonna whipping up this fully loaded salad. Talk to you guys later. I mean, I really want to do the weekly thing, but I feel like my brain does not operate like that as a creative person. I feel like I really don't want to just be posting anything. And sometimes I just don't be inspired or motivated. So, I only want to post things when I'm inspired to post something or feel like I have something to share. And I don't want to be restricted or bounded to posting every Sunday or Monday. I want to post when I feel like posting. Is that wrong? I know the algorithm won't pick that up. 
but as a creative it's not wrong and free spirited person it's just my my brain does not work like that right now and i feel like even if it's not every week you still gotta have a schedule where it's every two weeks something you can but i might not want to post every two weeks i might want to post every i might want to post back to back i might want to post two videos in a week i might want to post every other week i might want to post every week i might want to post I just, I don't want to stick to, oh. I just feel like every two weeks gives you time. If you want to stay in the algorithm. Yeah. This, this is something that you wanted to do. So I got to play a game you right. You got to treat it like a job. You can't half-ass it just because. Now. I don't half-ass nothing. I, I didn't say that. No, I did say that. But I'm saying you can't half-ass it in a way like. Half-ass it. If you want it, if you want it to grow. So like. So like, for instance, you ain't, there's, there's not too many artists out here that just, that do like Beyonce or Rihanna, where they only drop an album once every fucking five years, six years. You gotta be a certain type of person to do that. And you still gotta do a little shit here and there to keep people, you know, in the mix of shit. like. Yeah, Beyonce or Rihanna ain't dropped the album, but like Rihanna, but Rihanna, Rihanna, said, Rihanna is doing all this other shit. She's still relevant. She got this going on, that going on, but she ain't dropping no fucking album. Now, if I dropped an album, or even we're gonna say Jeezy or whoever, I know he's older, but any of these new rappers, they drop one album and then they don't drop one for another six years. Who the fuck are you? We done forgot about you. You can't forget about Jeezy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Jeezy's older. That's why I said. That's why I said one of you are. Jeezy, he can do that. He's one of them people that can do that now. Oh, like Ice Spice? <clears throat> yeah, she dropped the album today. And then she ain't dropped shit else for another three years even. I'll even say two. And she ain't do no other TikTok. All them little fucking songs she be coming out with. And she ain't do that stuff. Nobody would remember her for real. Now she's blowing you up. You remember Quincy's song with Homeboy? Who? Oh. Honey, you want it back? Then it's just time to say yes now. I'm too proud to beg. Nope. Stay a while, while. That sounds familiar, stay but. Stay a while. That sounds familiar, but no. Mm -hmm. Honey, you want It's just time to say yes now. Were they like a one headed I'm Quincy. That's. Pretty Sun, Step Sun. Oh, yeah, I definitely. I love that song. Yeah, I'm. No. If he came, he only came with one hit wonder, basically, and if he come out with another yeah. song, I'd be like, oh, shit! Yeah, right. Stay so, alive. somebody like wow. that, like, you know who he is because of who he is. Oh, he done been in a couple movies and done little whatever, and I don't know what else he did, but I know he was like him. You know, Raven did a song with me, Latifah? Raven? Raven's tomorrow when she was little. I can believe that. A little, she did a, she did a song, a I, whole song with Latifah. I can believe it. I ain't know that. Raven Simone was actually, you feel me? I don't even want him wonder. And I ain't even get my hit yet. Really? I ain't even got the hit wonder yet. That ain't true. What's, what? what's my one hit wonder? Oh, I got a couple virals. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that Gemini TikTok video that viral. That Gemini one. That one's viral. That's the, the, that that, 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 one's that, 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 that one still get reposted to this you've day. Had a, you've had a couple, you've had one of the couple pictures on Instagram. And then the one video with the that crazy hair color you did, it's like purple and silver and all that shit. Oh, now I know you don't like doing that stuff, but that video did not go like crazy. not though. doing it. It's just my technique back there won't even not that. No, nah, but I'm just saying you don't really like you don't it's not that you don't like doing the hair, I'm saying you don't like posting that type of content all the time. I know that's not what you want to promote with what you got going on. I don't know why I should. You should, but just gotta, I don't know. But yeah, you can't, you can't just go without. I feel what you're saying. You are that girl to me, especially. You are that girl, you feel me? But at the same time, it's like you, you can't just not do nothing. Just, I, be, just because you don't, just because you don't, you're not in the spirit. And I get it, you don't want to just put nothing out there. Just like you don't want to put out a garbage album just to keep people in or whatever, but. Drop songs, do features, drop an EP, which are smaller albums that lead into your big projects. Take your time with the big projects. 
But do smaller shit to keep people interested. Mm -hmm. Does the same thing. So I need a schedule, is what you're saying? I got to stick to a schedule? I think so. Okay. At least every two. At least, at least vlogs. And they make them long. Cause you ain't, cause, and I even watched this old, you remember the, the Drewski shit? That's, that, that standing on business, house, whatever the fuck. We tried to watch the first episode, this shit was ridiculous as fuck. But I think he took like two weeks to drop like one of them episodes and the bitch was like 29 minutes long. And everybody in the comments was pissed because it took so long and it was only 29 minutes. I mean, the, 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 the episode was funny, but it's only 29 minutes. You mean that you made them wait two and a half weeks for 29 goddamn minutes? <laughs> Make them bitches 40 minutes, an hour. Hour and 30, basically, hour. two. I mean, if you got that. Auntie Peyton Charles, she be making two hour vlogs. If you, hour and a half vlogs. If you, if you got that. You I know. like watching her and listening to her vlogs. Yeah. And you just be talking. You and, be and, talking, and, talking, and talking. I was about to say, and have substance. It ain't always about looking cute. Because I don't be looking cute all the time. Looking I don't feel like it. And, and looking cute and just doing that. And Talk about some real shit, right? Like like the shower routines. All that stuff is amazing. That's, that's independent. Those videos do really good. People yeah. like to watch people shower. Yeah, I was about to say, like, that stuff is good. But, like, when you're doing these videos, when you feel like I ain't got shit. Talk about something that you're interested in. Have a good. Even though, even if you're talking to me, I don't give a fuck. Talk to me, have a good conversation with yourself. Actually think about certain shit. Just come up with a topic and what's on your mind, what you're thinking about. And express that shit. I don't give a fuck if it's there. Me, if I'm doing some shit, I'm gonna talk about real estate, all the different avenues. Talk to talk, because they might know some shit that you don't. You know, just little stuff like that, you know. Cause like I watched the same chick you talking about. She driving around. She, I mean, I know she was in the process of doing something. Who? Peyton? I think. Marie Charles, auntie? Yeah, but when she was talking about like the real estate shit. I don't I don't know who that is. Until you show me. I mean, I don't think I'm me personally. You watch Auntie? I don't, I don't know. I mean she seems pretty cool. I mean it's not something that I don't think I'ma look up on my own. I watch it with you. I don't think it's something I'm looking up on my own. But just talking about something like that, that's interesting to me. It caught my eye, you listening? Because it's something that I'm interested in. But if all you talk about is, is that they're kind of pulling people away from certain shit. I feel like. I could be wrong. But just keep stuff interesting. All right. Sounds like a plan. I think I got it. At least every two weeks. Huh? At least every two weeks. I'm gonna tap in. A, a, a big blow. At least. Because I got two. it. And you still got time. No, I got it. Because. Uh, too much. Uh